The clue is to What's cover up, to guys? avoid Welcome if you to love another the game in my Miami Hurricanes Martin. dynasty. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road. It's really just going to be a game where pit. I got to try to avoid the upset and uh, continue marching towards some the Cardinals will uh, kick it off to get national us underway. records when it comes to passing and stuff. So. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Miami's offense takes the field to start this game off. And here comes this quarterback. When he takes the field, he brings a certain swagger and charisma out there that the entire, not only the entire team, the entire stadium seems to feed off of. You can feel it. It's different. It's special. Uh, oh, guys like this don't come around very often, but he makes the whole team better. He's so be strong because he yeah. continues to make plays and be there for his team every time they need. Sometimes people say, if you're good enough, what's the big deal about going on Man, the road? But if you're not careful, you might find out in a spot like this one, guys. Yeah, no doubt about it. This is a hostile environment, and you know you're going to be getting the opponent's A game for this one. They've circled this one all offseason, so they better be ready to bring it today, then. And the hardest thing to do in college football is to go on the road. Beat him. Beat him. Everything Beat him. about Beat him. it changes. If you want to shut this Beat crowd up, you. you don't want to give them belief because it starts to build throughout the game. Look out. Who's covering this dude? Who's covering him? We got number eight. Like, is he just some beast or something? Like, what in the world? Like, why is he so... Why is their dude so good all of a sudden? What the frick? Let's go check him and see what the deal is. Like, what the heck? He's their number three cornerback. What in the world? He's an 84. He shouldn't... Be, huh? Look, what in the world? If there's, he shouldn't be staying with me. If that's what it's I'm so at. nice when you know it's third and long. You know a pass is coming. You worked on it all week. Get your feet set at the sticks. Understand that quarterback's got to be rushed. Get him off of this Probably spot. Giving up nice execution down, by this uh, defense. Oh, he loves to he just, fire downfield. Oh and God. it's batted it. away in the fourth oh, down play. Doesn't convert. They'll give up the football. The Cardinals offense will get the ball for the first time. I don't know what when a guy gets off the ball as quickly as he does, you know he's going to be breathing they, down they your play neck. Play you got to get rid of it, Jesse. This quarterback's good, but he better have a clock going off in his head. He knows he's not going to have a lot of time to get rid of the football. That's a big matchup in this game. Well, and that's what I love about this guy, because he affects the quarterback whether he gets to him or not. He knows he's there. He's that kind of good coming off the edge. Let's see how this QB performs right, under pressure. Shown. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. He's looking to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Johnson. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. It, That's reeled in a tip. And they'll get him down bullshit. inside the five with this offense powering toward a That's score. Garbage. And the Cardinals trying to That's cash bullshit. it in on That's first and goal. What? And he'll that fly his way in for the score. Touchdown, Louisville! The offense did exactly Absolutely. what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. Takes well, that's annoying as hell. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Still on his feet. He's able to work his way across the 25 to the 26 before going out of bounds. Be able to make this play They'll get this drive started from their own 26. Going up top on first down. He hurls one deep down the left side. And the ball is caught. He's inside the 35. And he got away from the defense and takes it in. Touchdown, Kane. Yeah, 
coming into the game, you look at the stats and you say top 10 offense in scoring. So they better be able to create what? Explosive plays. Another explosive plays. They've been doing it all year long. Those plays are backbreakers. Defenses just can't contain this offense. He'll bring it out. It's Hicks. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. David did love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well, Palmer. They executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Power football with the run. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. A third and long coming up here. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Quarterback, there we go. and he can find a receiver, and there down go. he goes. Yeah, and the defensive line, you know, third and long situations. I'm rushing the quarterback. You bring in the nickel, a little bit more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack on third down. Surprisingly, makes a fair catch just outside the 40-yard line. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break yeah, the tie. Yeah, this really offense has got it cooking, I mean, And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back I'm to the sure. hot hand. Now this offense ball has a chance to take it. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball to score. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. From the gun, wants to pass. Going for the big play. Finally, I mean, this dude has got me shaking. Touchdown, Hurricane! Reeled in and play. just made the house call. Well, we knew coming into this one, guys, the offense wanted to get this guy the ball. I had no idea he was going to do this, though. We're not even done the first quarter. He already has over 100 yards receiving. This offense is so good. Man, they can hurt you in so many different ways, and they do it so quick, so explosive. They can put small drives together, big drives together. They've really had a great year, and that's why they're a top-10 offense. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. They'll run it to the right. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Just nothing doing on that last run. And they knew coming into this one they were going to be challenged, right? This is one of the best defenses in all of college football. For them to have any shot, they're going to have to do a lot better running the football. He'll have the first down as he gets it to the 28-yard line before he stopped. The Cardinals come to the line with a new set of downs. You know, one of the areas that separate good offensive coordinators from great ones is how efficient their offenses are on third down passing plays. That was the perfect call. Why did you lose the right? Come on, oh, man. He goes. Why did and he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Cardinals. Come on, sir. Come on, what is that? Quarterbacks love receivers that can get separation, but that amount of separation that? Uh, is a little excessive. I agree, Reese, and I think the defense needs to have a little powwow on the sidelines and talk about what just was. happened, because that was an absolute bust like coverage on the back end. Defense can't keep playing like that. He'll start the return inside have stayed with him and picked it off right Not there. a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth. Yeah, they got to score. Every offense. possession matters so much. What that do you score? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you for sure to feel like I got to make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, I got to hit them too. We can't let our... And he reels it in inside the 
I mean, their number three quarterback should not be able to stay with my top receiver. You know, oftentimes in college football, the best offenses are the ones that can create explosive plays just like you saw right there. They're top ten in the nation in points per game because they don't have to drive the field. They've got dudes scattered all over this offense that can take it the distance on any given play. Fielded in the end zone. It's Hicks. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. These two defenses have had their heads spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see a little more scoring with this drive. It's going back and forth. This is like two heavyweights just trading blows, David. What does this defense got to do to get a stop here? I, I tell you what, man, when you're giving up points like this and you've got no momentum, you got to find somebody that can make a play to create some. And, and listen, if, you're sc if they're scoring anyways, let's be aggressive. Let's blitz more. Let's, let's make sure we're making them feel discomfort in some way, shape, or form. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. On third and long, he'll need to look. There we go, baby. Intercepted. Looking for more room. Touchdown, K. How about that D coming up with a play like that? Awesome job by the linebacker there in coverage, reading the quarterback's eyes, spying the QB, knowing where that ball was going to get thrown, and then the ball skills just to pluck it out of the air and take it back for a touchdown. Awesome work. There we go, baby. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this you need lead. To build a little bit of a gap. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. UCF is in front. They played awfully well today. And while there's no Dante Culpepper out there, this group is hanging tough. They're up by seven over Arizona State. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, not great blocking up front. They're struggling to get the running game going. And tell you what, they got to find something. Last week, it was a bad performance, and this offense has got to get some momentum early in this game and find something that they do really, really well and someone they can count on. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. From the gun, wants to pass. It's caught downfield. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33, and it's first down. Yeah, and obviously great play by the offense to keep the drive alive, and also a good find by the quarterback on third down. Not much more you can do there. I mean, and the Cardinals cover. racing to the line in the hurry up. They'll give it on the counter. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe. Second and seven. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. motion from the offense they'll try to find room outside on the jet sweep and after the tackle we are headed to the end of the first quarter let's see what they do on third down we've reached the end of the quarter and miami is on top they came out and jumped on them early in the first let's take a break and look at the first quarter stats Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. A third down play to get the quarter started. From the gun, wants to pass. And the third down pass is incomplete. 
What a fantastic play. And that right there is why he is the best DB right now in college football. He's got all the tools you look for. He's got speed. He's got flexible hips. He can change direction. He's got ball skills. He is the favorite to win the top DB award in college football this season because of what you just saw in that play. And here comes that Miami yeah, fact, offense has, back onto like, the field. <laughs> this offense has yeah, really I mean, been clicking in the uh, game so far, Jesse. 16. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offense. And he's got it inside the 30-yard line. Touchdown, Hurricane. He broke away from the defense, and they couldn't catch him. They've got the lead and trying to put this one in a hammerlock here in Week 10. Well, this offense is top 10 in the country in points per game because they've got a lot of speed and they've got home run hitters. They score fast. They don't need 10 plays to go down the field. You saw it right there. They've recruited well. They've got playmakers. They're going to be a problem for defenses all year long. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. And the returner will be dragged down. First down here for the offense. Some misdirection with the counter. Hammers ahead for a yard out to the 12. Yeah, and this has been tough sledding. All right, this, this offense has really struggled to move the football, and, and this game's all but over. But here's the thing, man. Thank God you don't play this defense every week. And let's, let's continue to work here and find something we do good and build maybe a little bit of momentum so next week we play a little bit better for you. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. Cardinals will hustle to the line. He's looking to throw on third and short. Finds his big tight end. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Third and short, and I guess the only thing they really took out of play in the shotgun was the quarterback and sneak. I, I had, yeah, and that's kind of what I like to do. Right? I mean, third and inches, I, I want to run the quarterback sneak, run the football. But this team, fully comfortable throwing the football, and you see why. Easy pitch, easy catch, first down. They'll go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The offense in hurry up mode. Bully ball on third and short. They'll move the chains after he gets it to the 43 yard line. Nice job by this offense converting the third down. Listen, third and short, they know you're going to run the football, and they still did a great job being physical. Third downs has been such a struggle for this offense. Bottom 50, one of the worst in college football. Nice job on that play. Fouls through the defense. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Looking for space. It's Martin. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. They come to the line three yards away from the first down marker. They've converted twice on this drive. The handoff as they run the counterplay here. And the defense had its hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. And the Cardinals will line up to punt it away. And that one will sail out of bounds. No chance for a return there. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. Boy, that last touchdown, the one play quick strike score. Jesse, this offense hoping to keep that kind of explosiveness going. Makes the grab down the left side. Just gashing this defense, a big gainer to the 40-yard line. Well, this defense has tried to find ways to disguise their coverage and mix it up to try to confuse the QB. It's not working, though. With that last completion, he's now got over 300 yards passing. Brings it in down the left side. He makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. And this offense is clicking. Another touchdown. Didn't have to go far for this drive, but this offense is doing what they want, how they want, when they want. And he splits the uprights on the extra point. 
This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. The running back has it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. He wants to throw here on second down. Makes the grab. It's Little. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. The Cardinals in the hurry up. They'll go to the air on third and short. Grab near the sticks. It's McLean. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And the Cardinals come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Floating away. Short gain on the play before he slides. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Soft spot in the middle. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. See if they can turn this drive into points. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. Pulls it in. It's Little. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. It looks like I knocked it out of his hands, but I guess I didn't. Now the play fake. Fires toward the end zone. Almost intercepted. They took a shot on first down and just about turned the thing over. Man, and you've given up this drive that come down the field and yet such an yeah, opportunity I thought I was gonna end up to get the pick and his. close the door and shut down the drive hands, and not so give up to... points. That's a big missed opportunity for this defense. Back to the air one more time. He's That's got him this time. Right to crease at the 20. And he'll run it into the end zone. Nobody there to touch that Cardinal. Nice job getting the passing game going. This is big, man. Going to the half. And listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half, airing the football out, cutting into this deficit, and who knows what the heck will happen. On the move from inside is five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. They've got some time to work with here, Jesse, and if they get a first down, they might really get aggressive. I'd be aggressive right out of the gate. I'd be throwing for a first down. If I get it, then it's pedal to the metal. I'm in that two-minute mode to try to score a touchdown and get a field. But I do think this is a situation where you also have to understand that I have the lead going into the half. I've got the momentum, so don't do anything stupid here. Extra yeah, misfire against second down. <laughs> Play action. Fires to the wideout. Got a man in the middle. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. He wants to throw. Unloads it left. Complete downfield. Ball down at the 38-yard line, and a big pickup of 15 yards there. And I tell you what, all this spread offense, man, it's really accentuated receivers and so many different shapes and sizes. But this guy, they're going to find him. They're going to find him early. They're going to find him often. He's made so many plays throughout the season and really been the feature of this offense. And this dude has worked his way. He might get a trip to New York as a wide receiver. That is not normal, and neither is this dude. They go to the ground. Bulls his way forward. That's why they love to feed this senior running back. He'll find those extra yards. Might as well give it to him again. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. First 
half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, fellas. The end of a fascinating first two quarters of football in Louisville. Big shot. job inside that stadium passion. right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have to find this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Ellen and Federal Credit Union Stadium. I just had such a terrible name. Ellen and Federal Credit Union Stadium. <laughs> corporate, corporate staff is just ruining the name. All teed up and ready to go here in the second half. Sounds so bad. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Louisville has it back in the offense coming out ready to attack. They start this third quarter in a big hole, and they have to start climbing out right now. And they're going to have to be really aggressive. Yes. Like this Come offense, on, when I'm hit the gas, That's can't it. wide open the head. And that? that was a huge run that almost shit. went to the house. That? The defense kept him from scoring. Absolute crap. One big play, and you go from a little backed up to threatening. It's first and ten from the 40. They'll run the toss. Much that better. one did not go I mean, well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. Man, what a play by that defensive lineman. You, you could say he was channeling his inner power. And that's what defensive linemen do. Big, fast, one of the most athletic players on the field. Getting in the backfield. Just beautiful. You know, you could have shown a little humility there and said, aw, shucks, or something. Aw, shucks, or something. They'll run it from the gun. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. Damn Grabbed guys. in the middle, it's Johnson. Oh, this is and he gets it down to the I four hate yard line. He finally this guy stopped is so a terrific run mind. after the catch. It's not fun. The Cardinals have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide on these situations. You know the physical ground game comes into play inside the five-yard line, and they match the intensity. Nice job. Everybody flying around to the football, making the tackle for a loss. Nice job by this defense. Little touch pass to the receiver. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. You gotta fight fire with fire. You gotta fight speed with speed. There's a receiver with the ball out in the open field trying to get the corner, but a cornerback with the same type of speed and athleticism able to make the tackle. Nice job. Looking to the end zone on third and goal. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. And this one splits the uprights. They were able to get a field goal on board, and now they'll kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. First play of this drive comes from the 27. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Shit. Yep. And that will be incomplete, man. That would have been a big hitter if they could have done it. The second down coming. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Going back to the well, another Come deep on. ball. He just can't. And they can't hook up. Going for the I'm big play on second down. Three. Now it's third down. Third they line up, and it is a long four. way to the sticks from happen? here. It makes no sense. Quick timeout call by the offense third. after the play. Third down conversions always a huge yes, stat, and they've got a third game. and long. I messed up. Easy. 
the give on the inside. Not that generous. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And these RPOs always put the defense in a bind, but listen, you give up the run, they get a short little gain, no harm, no foul. They're throwing for it on fourth down. And he makes the catch inside the 20. Him, Matt, Touchdown, K. And the pummeling has started. Well, this offense looked unstoppable in the first half, lighting up the scoreboard, and it doesn't look much different here in the second half. They take their first drive of the third quarter, march it down the field to score. There is no end in sight for these guys. Lining up to tackle the one record more that for lead. touchdown passes in a season of 62. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little so. further. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Dynamite matchup today, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Middle Tennessee is just getting blown off the field right now. And at this rate, I'm not sure this won't get worse. They're trailing by 14 to Kennesaw State. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business. Gentlemen? Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the offensive line had everybody blocked except the defensive end. He was able to sneak into the backfield and get the tackle for making it too easy to After figure out. After getting knocked back run, to open this drive, it's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Martin. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. This offense lines up feeling awfully good after that big play. He's going to pass. Throws for the God, tight end. He I makes a catch. Defense. I say that, I say that 2,000 times in this dynasty, but I do. Take it to the it house. Sucks. He got loose. Touchdown, Louisville. It is just... Well, in the modern era of college football, you're seeing more and more athletic tight ends. Like what you just saw right there. The defense had no chance covering that guy down the field. He makes them look silly on his way in for the long touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Push him that of getting loose, but he'll go out of bounds at the 18. Push him that way so he can go around the And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. Looking for a productive play on first down. He wants to throw. Made a defender miss. Just keeps moving. And he's running in the open. Running inside the 20. Touchdown, Hurricane. And the route is on. This game must be moving so slowly for this quarterback. He sees everything two or three beats ahead. But that yeah. was just a simple I mean, been, curl been route. Really, really I, easy. I better get some more. Some. I better do something to make him feel uncomfortable. Because right now, I thought my tackling like, oh, was terrible. That, yeah, that's easy. I mean, he's, he's already read your mail. That you better change the address. Do something different. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the return man is stopped. And now will leave it up to the offense on the next drive. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can they back it up here? Well, and it's amazing in a football game how sometimes they'll surprise you with what you do. Once you get settled and you realize what's going on now, I'm comfortable with it. Jesse, this offense looked comfortable on this last drive. They sure did. It looked like they started to find some momentum. So now it's on this defense to stop that, all right? You're a little bit upset based on what just happened the previous drive. You've got to bow up again and go back to what was working earlier in this game. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Here on third down. He's looking to throw. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. And the Cardinals will call on their punt team. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Makes a move. Yeah, Returns going to get it up around midfield. He'll be down at the 49-yard line. All right. I Here the comes the hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. They torched it.
this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at him. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They bring him down, and he's going to lose the yard on that one. You got to give the defense credit. They knew a big key in this one was slowing this dude down, especially after how well he played. The last time out, they have been swarming him, they have been gang tackling him, and getting a lot of penetration up front. Yeah, we're absolutely listen. That wasn't the greatest run in the world, but it was very successful. Right there, I got the honor of the run. And another thing, every time you run the football, someone gets tackled. There's physicality involved in the game. So I like when offenses commit to the running the football, no matter what the outcome is, because those body blows do add up. Well, late in the year, this guy is square in the middle of the Heisman Trophy discussion because of his performance. He throws a nice completion there for a first down, but it's been week in, week out. Big moments. He's led this team to yeah, a ton like of wins. Big he is their best player. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a... Got enough space. I say that as I slow with my Miami. speed back. Johnson. And the punishment has been Mark extended. Johnson. Number 24. Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes with the return. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Hand off from the shotgun. Didn't have any better luck going back to him on second down. Now they're staring at third and ten. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Yeah, and you hear it all the time. Coaches talk about it. Don't throw across your body. Don't throw across your body. These guys nowadays, they do it more and more because they're more athletic and they can change their arm angles all the time. But right there, it was an incompletion. It was an interception. So you might get like a little bit of a yell from your coach. Yeah, so those of you that keep having the issue Young with the pass. Able to stop the that return at the 42-yard line. Yeah, he's got an eight. That's fine. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the Pretty field. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect them. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now on the same page. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Miami is on top. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. They will start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. The handoff to Johnson. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Right back to the well. At the 20, he's got space. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. And the Canes will line it up on first and 10.
from the gun. They'll give it on the inside. Knocked off his feet, but not before he picks up six yards down to the 10. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing these pads. SMU's ranked in the top 20. It's actually feel slightly better about losing than last year. But... Williams will pass. Shit. Oh. It's incomplete. Almost intercepted in the end zone. It'll be third down. Well, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. In the gun and looking to throw on third down. Touchdown, Kays! And the beatdown has ensued. That score might be the one to put them over the top and run this winning streak to nine. Yeah, and this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get conserved. Because this offense obviously has so. had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring, and the defense better do something about it. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good, and put one more on the lead. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. Vanderbilt is going to get out of Dodge with a win. It's a shade that might have been a little closer than Doors fans wanted, but a road victory feels great no matter what the final score is. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome, and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standards, fellas. Hey, Kevin Connors, keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Makes a connection. He'll get it out to the 25. Not bothered at all being backed up, and they've got a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. Chunked it away just as he was hit. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Well, it's been that kind of day here tonight. They just have not been able to find a rhythm and establish that throwing the football. Part of it has been wide receivers and quarterbacks not being on the same page, but you got to give this defense credit, too. Just like that last play, they have been getting after him. They've been hitting him, and that's a big reason why they've got such a big lead here in the fourth. He didn't get a big gain. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If you could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. Got it in the middle. It's Johnson. Great pickup as they'll keep this drive moving, and they've got it at the 45. The Cardinals are moving quickly down the field. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down. Awesome job by the quarterback. In offense in a bunch formation. They keep attacking through the air. Got him downfield. Just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. It's one thing to get that huge play. Now you got to cash it in with six. First and ten from the 24. They go to the draw. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Two minutes now left in this one, and time is running short if they want to find a way to pull this one out. Coming after it. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Facing third and long from the 21 and hoping not to settle for a field goal. From the gun, wants to pass. And the ball's loose in the backfield. How in the world did the offense retain possession? And those are so frustrating when you're a defense and you swarm to the football and you stick the quarterback and you make him cough it up. 
just to have the other team recover it again and you don't get it. Still a good stick, still a good physical play. Keep hitting that quarterback. He got it. Let's not say they can put in just the deficit in that field goal. They can just tweak a little bit of a way with their fingernail. 34. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. What a feeling this has to be, David, in complete control and headed toward victory formation. No stress, under a couple minutes left in the ball game. Well in hand. These are the ones, Jesse, you like to just run the clock, take a knee, whatever you want. No doubt. They're going to love watching this game film, too. There's just so many positives to take away from this, and this is the kind of performance today that is really going to help this offense's confidence. Williams looking for a man. He'll off one deep down the left side. Yeah, and the DB kind of forcing the incomplete pass with the deflection. And that's a good stop for this defense. And listen, there hasn't been a lot of positive today, but like, let's finish this game strong. I think that'll be the message from the defensive coordinator. Can we get a stop? Can, can we get them off the field? I know a lot's went wrong, but like, let's live in this moment and try to be great right here to end the game. Second down coming up. Smart move to keep it on the ground. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they treat them. You know, talking to the coaches coming to the game, like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today, though. They got to go back to the drawing board, figure some things out, because this wasn't a great day. To the ground with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And you hear about run blitzes. This is exactly what a run blitz is. When you know the ball's coming up the middle, you want to bring those linebackers, get them closer to the line of scrimmage, and fire. Right when the ball snaps, he's coming downhill, doing a good job creating a loss. That linebacker really knew what was going on. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. The Hurricanes have it with a first and ten. From the gun, the running back looking for room. And a good solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Well, this was an offensive showcase out there today. We thought it would be a high-scoring game, and it certainly delivered. If you love offense, then you love this type of game. Both offenses going up and down the field, seemingly at will. Throwing the ball, running the ball. But, David, I feel like if you're a fan of defense, maybe this wasn't your cup of tea. Ah, uh, more defense option. <laughs> you didn't really get too much of that stuff. But, you know, listen, you got to get a few stops late in the game. you got to get one, actually just kind of one stop with this many points of being scored. you got to stop late. That's why you got the dub. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. We got a big one, the four state game.
Yeah, I legit don't know what some of these guys are waiting on, to be honest. schedule any more visits. I wouldn't really want to because it would be kind of a kind of a uh, difficult one. I'm in good shape to get him. Get Dove, the big, the big physical running back that I'm, I'm wanting to get. Because I've gotten, because once um, Fletcher graduates, like I'm gonna have nothing but smaller backs, which I don't like. So.